A few days ago, there was an announcement from this company that literally, I would say, just came out of the blue. Name uh, the company was Q Tracks. That's Q as in the letter, Tracks T R A X. And essentially, they they announced that they made the hugest deal in music history. Essentially, that they got all of the rec- major record labels to sign on so that they could provide free music to everyone. As long as they downloaded this player that was the Q Tracks player, and they could download these files for free, like all the major record labels that supposedly signed on for this. So the day that Q Tracks launches, um, I go to their website and I download the player. So I install it. First thing I notice from Q Tracks, it's the player is based off Songbird, which is an open source application that is, uh, you know, it's a pretty decent player. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I've played with uh, Songbird for a little bit, and it's nice, I mean, could do some work, but anyway, they totally destroyed whatever Songbird had going for it, they, they demolished it. It's the ugliest, worst looking, not, non-intuitive, you know, not easy to use, not, poorly laid out piece of software I've seen, I would say, in a long time. And I, I, I so I went to try and, you know, search for a song and download something perhaps first of all their servers were down i couldn't access their music their music database or whatever you would want to call it i couldn't couldn't even load it and they already released the software and i couldn't load the page now this was ridiculous so i'm sitting there thinking to myself well this isn't good i mean they just released this software they just released the service what's going on here why can't i access the service then i then i I was messing around a little bit. I kept playing with it. I, I and I realized that you can search using other websites. So I tried that. The selection was poor. The selection was beyond poor. It was horrendous. It was really really bad. Uh, they had like nothing for the band I was looking for. They had a few songs. So it wasn't even like a full album. I don't even know what the heck it was, but it wasn't good. So I, uh, I I go searching on the web just to see if anyone else is having this issue. I realize it's new and that there probably wasn't much about it. However, I was shocked to find that the BBC had already reported that Qtrax, these so-called deals that they made with these record labels, four out of the five were were denied as ever being true. Sony refused to comment, which was the fifth. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Uh, if the, this was this was this was a uh, shocking to me when I when I found out the news at first that these music that these files of music is going to be given away for free, basically on a peer to peer network with the approval of all the major record labels. Yet, then I'm informed that it's not true at all. Now, is, what is this like the biggest hoax in internet history if in terms of music sharing and downloading of legal files, MP3s and whatnot? I mean, the way it was supposed to work apparently was that Qtrax would make money off advertisements and then they would pay the record labels uh, a portion of the advertising money. It's, they said they made deals with like Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and some other companies, uh, Microsoft maybe, or IBM, I don't remember who it was. They said they did. Uh, apparent, I didn't see any ads for any of that stuff. I saw some like mus- musician ads or something going on. I did not see any ads for McDonald's or anything like that. So what they were what they were saying was true apparently is not at the moment and I'm kind of upset I'm pretty upset I'm disappointed that that this didn't happen first of all and that they that they even went out of their way not they went out of their way to tell you the false information and not correct it and that just makes me angry I don't know I'm not, I, I, I just don't know I just I just don't I don't know what to say Q tracks total bomb don't don't even don't even bother until I have more information on this and facts are ironed out and everything is you know completely you know factified. I'm gonna say I'm gonna make I think I don't even think that's a word, but I made it up. Factified that everything, all the facts are are correct. Then uh, I have nothing else to say about Qtracks. I'm not even gonna bother. I had installed the application literally within 24 hours, if not fa- you know much sooner than that. Anyway, you're watching live. Best tech it on it. Um, like I said, the streaming network starts today. This video is being done on uh, Monday, February 4th, 2008. The streaming network is going to start today, so live.besttechie.net. Come join us. Even if someone's not streaming, um, 
you know, we still have the chat room open, so you're welcome to join that. So come join us in the chat, live.besttaken.net. Oh, hope to see you around. We're a friendly bunch. No reason not to stop by, right? Thanks for watching. It's the Best Taken on Net Show. We'll see you next time.